All right, guys, we're at a new spot today. Nibbler's over there. He got us this new permission. 1943. I actually hit it with my shovel when I was bringing it out, and I heard that distinctive silver ting. He told me this thing he's got is definitely something. I said, isn't everything something? Kyle's that tiny little blip way back there. Where we burn? <laughs> D and K. Right there. I'm positive. This is gonna be a silver Roosevelt. He's got dirt on his neck, on his ear, on his face. I don't know how he got dirt all over. I like how you get dirt on your neck. And my first find of the day is I got this button. It's a flat button with a broken shank on the back. There's some markings around the outside. I'm going to clean it up later and show it in the wrap up, but that's pretty good. Uh, the house itself, which is about maybe somewhere over there, when they built it, there was a lot of fill dirt put in, so we're not going to get too close to the house. We're going to do the perimeter, and then we got another spot lined up about 15 minutes away. So uh, see how it goes. Oh, I had a solid 86, 87 forge down. It's a beautiful Washington quarter. It's pretty mangled, Kyle. If you can see the date on it, 1943, which oh, is a 90% nice. silver. It sounded really good too. Away from the house, we're doing pretty good. I'm surprised we're finding stuff this age. I actually hit it with my shovel when I was bringing it out and I heard that distinctive silver ting. And uh, there it is. Look at the toning on it. Can you see that beautiful toning? It's nice. It's really nice, yeah. 1943, beautiful. Super happy to have that. Any mint mark on it? I don't see one. Beautiful coin. All right, me and Kyle working around the rim of this old house. We're going down. You can see back in these woods, and you can't see it. There's an old retaining wall back there, but it's too thick. So we're just going around the rim. I just got this thing. It's a big block. It looks like it was poured. I don't know what it is. It's not as heavy as it should be for something this size. He's got something down there. He told me this thing he's got is definitely something. I said, isn't everything something? Hopefully it's a good something. So, uh, all right, we'll be back. I've dug a lot of mangled up zinc pennies in my day, and this one's no exception. But this might be the worst one I've ever gotten. It's super thin. It's almost like it was smushed down. You wouldn't even think that that at one time was currency, but I was able to see Abe Lincoln from One Direction. Just crazy. I just called Kyle over, guys. I had a squeaky signal. I dug the plug. Come around the other side, Kyle. Ooh, what's up? Right there. I flipped the plug over, and it's right there. It's a big one. This could be a large set. I didn't even pluck it out of the hole yet. It is a really big piece of copper. Oh, it's slick. Oh, it's a big one. I hit it just perfect. Let me spray this down. I'll be back. Well, oh, guys, this thing is so slick. I swear I can almost see some sort of a design in the middle. It's big. It's bigger than a quarter. It's not quite the size of a large cent, I don't think, but it's bigger than a quarter. It's possible it's just some sort of a slug. But see, there's a couple of dots by my thumb. I don't know, once it dries off, I'll go at it lightly with a brush. Sometimes you get some better detail when it's dry than when it's wet. Oh, I hope it's an old one. We'll be back. All right, guys, I'm taking a little break. I'm starving. Kyle's that tiny little blip way back there. Whew, the house is new, but the land's pretty good. I, I got I got that 40 silver quarter. I got something. I don't know. Maybe it might be a King George. Could be a slug. I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at it later. But uh, we got another spot, too, in an old area about maybe 15 minutes from here. I want to see if Kyle wants to shoot over there. There's a lot of land here. Uh, I just I just want to get a little bit older spot if we can. 
I'll be back. <laughs> I dug this, guys. When I first got it, I flipped it over. It was like this. I thought it was just a washer, but it always pays to look at things. I turned it over and saw some lettering, and as I started cleaning it, you can see it says B and K, made in Taiwan. Some sort of a token. There's some arrows. I don't know what the heck this is. It's not a washer, though. So, uh, I don't know. We'll clean it up later and see. It's about the size of a, a penny. Maybe a little bigger. Not quite nickel. So, uh, pretty cool. We'll clean up later. Show it in the wrap-up. We're still working this old house going around the perimeter. I just got... I'm positive this is going to be a Silver Roosevelt. I didn't even clean it too well yet. But I could tell from just how shiny it is. Pulled out, there was no dirt on the back, and I saw some nice toning. Let's see if I can get a date off of it. Looks like 1951. It's my second silver of the day, along with the 43. Washington and maybe some sort of a, I don't know, maybe a King George or whatever that slug was. No coins yet for Kyle. He was getting frustrated. I don't blame him, but uh, it's a process. He'll get there. So, uh, let's keep going. Kyle's getting upset. Not mad, but he's getting bummed out. He hasn't found anything yet. Got some canned slag and some miscellaneous things. It's not easy, guys. You don't just buy a metal detector and start digging up treasure. It does take some some practice. I mean, anybody can hear the beeps, but you got to know which beeps, you know, might be something good, which beeps might not be, and how deep and where exactly it is and all that stuff. It, it takes practice, and I think he's just getting frustrated. But, uh, got another silver here. I hope he finds something. Even a penny, I'm sure he'd be happy. Let's keep going. And I had a long one, guys. It was coming up in the 70s. I got my shell underneath of it. I wedged it up, and as you can see this edge, it's like a box cutter. It's still stuck in here. Uh, wow, look at that. That's a nice one. It's a box cutter, but it's got this... I could hear other things in it. I'm guessing there's more razor blades in it in the middle. I've never seen one with a cap on it like that, though. Huh. like a razor blade I found two hunts in a row now. I mean, we'll open it up if there's anything in there, but I think it sounds like it's more, more razor blades. Ah, look good. I think we're done. We, uh, we did the whole yard. We did a few sweeps. Too close to the house was fill dirt, so we had to do it a little further away. Um, we got a few interesting things. I got a few coins. Kyle, still waiting for that first coin. That first coin's going to be elusive, but once he gets the first one, then the floodgates open. He's got dirt on his neck, on his ear, on his face. I don't know how he got dirt all over. I don't know how get dirt on your neck. But it's all over the place. So uh, I wouldn't say it was a bust, but uh, we had a good day out. We got a little bit of a breezy rain. So uh, all right, let's get out of here. All right, guys, this wrap-up is a small one. We didn't wind up going to the second location. I dug a lot of trash here along with Kyle. I was trying to help him out, so I didn't go as fast as I normally would. But here's what I got. Uh, I got a little metal bracket there. I don't even know what the heck that is. I don't know. This is the, a part of a lawn dart. They would throw it. Boom! It would stick in the ground like that and it broke off. I think it's all aluminum. Pretty cool. I don't know what that is. I don't even know why it's in here. This is this big block. I don't know. It's magnetic. It's not heavy though. I don't know what it is. Mystery item. Uh, I always wanted to get her and I finally got her. So there's that. Uh, piece of lead it could have been from a soldier you can see those two little pieces sticking up on the top there could have been from a lead soldier i don't know or it could be crap uh this is a little half a circle little piece there uh here's the flat button and as you can see i put a little bit of olive oil on it and there's that design on the front that is cool the back it's got a busted shank as you can see there are some markings around the outside i gotta clean it, it probably says waterberry New York but a uh, little logo on the front there it's small it's uh, much smaller than a dime probably like a cuff button or something I got the suspender clip 
I got this piece here, which I thought was a washer, but it says B and K, made in Taiwan. I don't know, maybe like off of a knob or radio or something. Uh, coins, I got seven zincers, including the world's worst zinc penny ever found. Uh, two modern dimes, one modern nickel. I got one wheat penny. I think it comes in at 1920, so at least it's an old one. I got one uh, silver rosy. I got this beautiful 43 silver Washington, and look at the toning on that. Am I catching it in the light? Am I catching it? I don't know. Might have been the this might be the prettiest toned coin I've ever got. Awesome there. And then I got the mystery piece here, which I've had soaking in olive oil. It's uh, it's bigger than a quarter. It is corroded and slick. I can't get any detail off of it really. Could even be a slug. I don't know. I want to say I can see some really faint writing along the edge. If you look at the very bottom here, right where my thumb is. I don't know. Maybe it's upside down. I'm going to soak it for a little bit more and see. I got a few tricks I can do, but it might just be too far gone. You can see it's bigger than the quarter, so it might even be like a King George or something like that. I don't know. And that's it. I mean, uh, still no coins for the nibbler. That's three hunts, no coins. And he was getting dejected. I felt bad for him. Um, I told him, I said, look, man, I dig probably more trash than you. I think where I have the advantage is that I, I can get it out of the ground faster. You know, I know the machine, so I know how deep it is, exactly where it is. I get out of the ground faster, so I can dig five times as much trash in the same time as you dig one. So even though you're finding a lot of trash, if you can excavate it quicker, you can move on and then eventually, you know, you dig enough holes, you're going to find some good stuff. So I hope he doesn't give up. I know he's going to go back out again this weekend. I got two houses lined up, some old ones. So um, I know he's going to get there. It just takes time. Like I said in the video, uh, you know, everyone can hear the beeps, but, you know, trying to find these things and find them in a quick manner, you know, that's a little tricky to do. So it takes a little bit of practice, but he's going to get there. I got faith in him. Um, but that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out my, my new shout-out videos I'm going to do on Monday. Where go to logo? Going to be shout-outs only with some video clips and pictures. If you got a quarter hoarder logo, if I send it to you, get those pics in. You know, email me some videos, something, and, uh, and I'll put them up. I'll showcase them all. So, uh, but that'll do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. See you guys later.